Cat's claw, a beautiful and well-known herb. Is cat's claw really helpful for our health? Can everyone use it safely? Or are there certain situations where we should avoid it? Are there any interactions between cat's claw and common medications? Is it safe to use during pregnancy or breastfeeding? Can children use it? Or is it only suitable for adults? If you're thinking about using cat's claw, how can you choose a high quality product? What should you look for on the label? And what key ingredients or extracts should be your focus? Let's explore all of that clearly, safely, and simply. Stay with me. Peace be upon you. I'm Hussein Latfi, and you're watching the Atlas Pharmacist Channel, and a new episode of From A to Z Herbal. Welcome. At the start, here are the titles of today's episode. This will be a simple and quick video. If you're looking for a specific topic, just go to the part where that title appears. But if you want to know everything about this herb, stay with me from beginning to end. First, as we always do together, let's take a quick overview. Just some basic, useful information about today's herb, cat's claw. Cat's claw grows naturally in the Amazon rainforest. Its scientific name is Uncaria tomentosa. The name cat's claw comes from the shape of the small thorns on the plant. They look like a cat's claw. Now, what's inside this plant? Let's look at its active compounds. There are many natural chemicals in this herb, but today we'll focus on three important groups. One, the alkaloids. These are keys for immune system support. Two very important ones are OPOA, pentacyclic oxindole alkaloids. OTOA, tetracyclic oxindole alkaloids. These are the compounds we care most about when choosing a cat's claw product. Two, the glycosides. These compounds help fight inflammation, and they may also have mild antiviral properties. Three, the polyphenol, known for their strong antioxidant effects. They help protect the body by neutralizing harmful substances known as free radicals. So what are the uses of cat's claw? There are many health claims about this herb. In many parts of the world, it's commonly used in the form of a herbal tea. The plant is dried, ground up, and boiled in water. Some people say it can fight cancer, kill viruses, reduce inflammation, and much more. But today, we'll focus only on the uses that are supported by scientific research and documentation. The second topic we'll cover today, as we always do, is very important. Before we talk about the benefits of any herb, we must ask a crucial question. Who should not use this herb? With cat's claw, there are three major groups of people who should avoid it. Let's explain them clearly. One, people with autoimmune diseases. This includes conditions like lupus, systemic lupus erythematosus, leukemia, autoimmune respiratory inflammation, and others. Why is cat's claw dangerous in these cases? Because these diseases happen when the body's immune system attacks itself. This is called autoimmunity. Now, cat's claw is known to boost the immune system. If someone with an autoimmune disease takes this herb, it may interfere with their treatment. It could worsen symptoms and possibly trigger a flare-up of the disease. So, Anyone with an autoimmune condition or cancer should avoid cat's claw completely unless advised otherwise by a specialist. Two, people preparing for surgery. If someone is about to have any type of surgery, they must stop using cat's claw at least two weeks before the operation. Why? Because this herb can increase blood flow, which raises the risk of excessive bleeding during surgery. After surgery, the person should not resume using cat's claw right away. They must wait until a blood test confirms that their blood has returned to normal and the doctor gives approval. Only then can it be safely used again. Three, special groups, pregnant women, breastfeeding mothers, children, and the elderly. Let's break this down clearly. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Cat's claw is not allowed during pregnancy or while breastfeeding, not because it's confirmed to be harmful, but because there are no reliable studies confirming it's safe. So, to stay on the safe side, it's best to avoid it completely. Children, the same rule applies. 
No clear research means it's best not to use it with children, elderly people, and older adults. This herb may increase blood flow too much, which can lead to internal bleeding or hemorrhage. That's why it's also not recommended for elderly patients, especially those on blood thinning medications. So, to summarize, cat's claw is a powerful herb, but it's not for everyone. Avoid using it if you have an autoimmune condition or cancer, are about to have surgery, are pregnant, breastfeeding a child, or an elderly person. Always consult a healthcare provider before trying any herbal remedy, especially one that affects the immune system or blood circulation. The third topic with us today is the interactions between cat's claw and common medications. These are serious and important interactions, and we need to understand them well before using this herb, especially if we are taking any regular medications. One, blood thinning medications, anticoagulants, and antiplatelets. Cat's claw can increase blood thinning effects in the body. So, if you're already taking a medication that affects blood clotting, like aspirin, Plavix, Clopidogrel, Warfarin, or other antiplatelet or anticoagulant medications, then combining it with cat's claw may greatly increase the risk of bleeding. Think of it this way. One plus one is equal to three. Not just doubling the effect, but multiplying it. This could lead to serious bleeding, internal hemorrhage, or other complications. Two, immunosuppressant medications. If someone is taking immunosuppressants, medications that lower the immune system, like in cases of organ transplant, autoimmune diseases, or cancer treatments, then using cat's claw is not safe. Why? Because cat's claw stimulates and strengthens the immune system, while the medication is supposed to weaken it to control the disease. That means the herb may cancel out the medication's effect, which could cause the symptoms of the disease to come back strongly and make the treatment ineffective. 3. Blood pressure medications. Cat's claw can lower blood pressure. If someone is already taking medication to reduce high blood pressure and then adds cat's claw to the mix, this may cause the pressure to drop too low. This can lead to dizziness, fainting, or dangerously low blood pressure levels. So, people on blood pressure medications should not use cat's claw unless under strict medical supervision. For Medications broken down by the liver, cytochrome P450 enzyme interactions. This is a bit technical, but important. In the liver, many medications are broken down by a group of enzymes called cytochrome P450. Cat's claw may inhibit these enzymes, especially a few key types. So if you're taking a medication that depends on this pathway to break down in the liver, the herb might slow down or block that process. As a result, the drug stays longer in the body. Its levels go higher than normal. You may experience stronger side effects or even toxicity. In some cases, it may lead to dependency or overdose. Example, a well-known group of drugs affected by this is the benzodiazepines, used for anxiety or sleep. But many other medications are also affected. So what should we do? If you're taking any medication, ask yourself, does this drug get broken down in the liver? Does it rely on the cytochrome P450 system? If the answer is yes, then cat's claw could interfere, and you should avoid combining them without medical advice. In summary, do not use cat's claw with the following. 1. Blood thinners, aspirin, warfarin, etc. 2. Immunosuppressants. 3. Blood pressure medications. 4. Drugs broken down by the liver enzymes especially cytochrome P450. Always check with your doctor or pharmacist before using herbal products, especially powerful ones like cat's claw. The title before the end of today's episode is this. I'm a healthy person, no health problems at all, and I just want to try this herb. Can I benefit from it? The answer is yes. And here's how to use it effectively and safely. We have three main beneficial uses for cat's claw in healthy people. One, boosting the immune system. Let's say someone is constantly getting sick, frequent colds, flu, coughs, or chest infection. And the doctor says, your immune system is weak. Here, 
Cat's Claw can be very useful because it naturally supports and strengthens the immune system. Recommended dose. Between 250 to 350 milligrams once or twice a day. Two, reducing pain and inflammation. Some people are tired of taking painkillers for body pain, joint pain, or chronic discomfort. Can Cat's Claw help? Yes, it works as a natural anti-inflammatory and a mild pain reliever. Recommended dose in this case. Between 350 to 500 milligrams, two to three times daily. This can offer relief from everyday aches and pains without overusing chemical painkillers. Three, fighting free radicals, antioxidant protection. As we discussed in earlier episodes, we are exposed to pollutant and toxins everywhere in food, drinks, smoke, air, and chemicals. These toxins are called free radicals. What do free radicals do? They attack different parts of the body, like blood vessels, eyes, skin, and internal organs. The body reacts by triggering inflammation. Over time, this leads to damage and health problems. Cat's claw helps here by acting as a strong antioxidant. It helps neutralize free radicals before they cause harm. Recommended dose for antioxidant use. Just 250 milligrams, twice a day. How to take it properly. To get the best results from Cat's claw. Take it after meals to avoid any effect on the stomach. The best times are morning, noon, or around sunset during the day, not at night. That way, your body can absorb it properly and you avoid any stomach irritation. The last topic we'll talk about today is this. I want to buy Cat's Claw. How do I choose the best product? And what are the possible side effects? Let's take it step by step. How to choose a good Cat's Claw product. When shopping for Cat's Claw, look out for three important things. One, capsule is the best option. Capsules are usually the best and most effective form. Always choose a capsule that contains at least 250 milligrams of the herb. The higher the concentration, the better. Most importantly, make sure the product label mentions the active ingredient. POA, pentacyclic oxindole alkaloid. The extract should contain at least 3% POA. If the product doesn't clearly state this, then it likely doesn't have enough active ingredients to be effective. Two, liquid extract, tincture form. Some companies sell cat's claw as a liquid extract, a tincture. Here, the dose is usually two to four milliliters per day, diluted in water or juice. Make sure the extract concentration is clearly shown on the label. Look for 1 to 2% concentration of the active compounds. Note, tinctures usually have lower POA content than capsules. 3. Powder form. Other products offer cat's claw as a loose powder. The usual dose is 1 to 2 grams. Mix in a glass of juice or water 2 to 3 times a day. But again, the POA concentration is usually lower than in capsules. So... While it can be used, capsules remain the most effective and convenient option. Possible side effects of cat's claw. Most side effects are mild and temporary. They include dryness or slight dehydration, constipation or stomach discomfort in rare cases. These usually go away with time. To reduce side effects, follow these two tips. One, choose capsules. They are gentler on the stomach. Two, always take it after meals to prevent constipation or irritation. And that brings us to the end of our talk about Cat's Claw. I hope today's episode gave you clear, helpful, and new information. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with someone who might benefit, and support the channel on Patreon, PayPal, or right here on YouTube. See you in the next episode. And until then, take care and stay healthy. Hussein Lutfi. Goodbye.